This is ridiculous. I just recorded this and it was just fine. This phone is getting on my nerve. So this video is a video I said that I was going to do showing you guys everything that I'm taking back to Dollar Tree. The reason being, I don't need it. I never needed it. Um, a lot of the stuff was just because I saw it and I could get it. Some of the stuff was, if you go on YouTube and you look up DIYs, there's billions of things that you're going to see and like you want to do. I'm that person. I have taken it back so much stuff to Dollar Tree. To, it's ridiculous. This is probably round, I don't know, almost round 10. I mean, like I had a lot of stuff from Dollar Tree. So, excuse the parents are working from home. I'm in my closet room, office, beauty room, blah, blah, blah. So, excuse the background if it looks crazy. So, let me show you right quick everything I'm returning back. And when I get done, hopefully I remember to tell you what I'm going to actually purchase. So, let me start with this basket. The basket is one of the items I'm taking back. This vase. None of this stuff has been used and none of it has been um, opened. Two of these. I like these. And these are the um, self-adhesive stencils. <clears throat> Don't know why I ever got this. Photo paper, if you ever need it, um, Dollar Tree has them. So, you know, I don't know if you guys can see all the, all the specs and stuff, but they have them. This was a Bridal Idea Wedding Journal and List um, Maker. I was getting this to sell it, but it did not work out. So, that. Three of these, which are the Adhesive Pearl Wraps. Two of the Pink Mirror Mosaic Stickers. Three of the mirror mosaic stickers. And a pack of the six salad plates. I had the dinner plates, but I've already used those. And I did um some wall decor with it in the house. So got those. So everything I just showed you in this basket is going back today. These are some items that's going to go back another time. Um, this is a City Color B Matte Lipstick. Had not been opened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah. All sealed. And the manager will be able to look and see the seal and see where it hadn't been broken or anything. And I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not. So, that's that. I have... Believe in unicorns. I'm not, it's not sure, but it's a candle. Stuck on you, a cactus candle. I like these. These are so freaking pretty, but they're cute as can be, and I'm never going to use them. They're just going to be sitting around, and, and I'm getting to an age now. It's like, listen, grow up. Aroma of the diffuser. I already have one of these at work, so I don't need another one. And then my mind is like, oh, it's a dollar, be fine. Stop it. Shadow switching sponge. You use your um, makeup brush and you want to clean it off to do an application of another color. This is really good. It takes the, um, the, the, it cleans the brush for you so you can use another color. But of course, you still have to wash your brush. But this works good. I already have two of these open. I don't know why I had a third one. Um, two 60 hour LED tea light candles and these are the ones you can they're waterproof see they're waterproof i don't know if you can see it that well but yeah i like these fabric markers don't know why i have these i already had i already have two of these they work really good i don't need another one these are the cuticle trimmers they're extremely sharp and they work really 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 good Joe Polish Remover Tool. I already had this. I probably should keep it as a backup, but that's why I got so much of duplicates of things. Um, if you pull up YouTube gel nail polish or gel polish, or no, poly gel. 
That's it. I used to get my nails done all the time and I spent money for years and years. And then I stopped and then they brought Polygel out, which is so much easier to use because while you're doing whatever you have to do, it doesn't dry quick unless you put it in the lamp. So um, I'll do a video about that. So I went out and bought a bunch of stuff and a bunch of um, nail jewelry. So I bought a bunch of these storage containers. I don't need this one. This is one too many. I have enough. So I'm taking that one back. Um, embossing tool. I have about two or three of these and I use this for, I was buying it for nail art. You see, you have the little ball to the very top. So each ball is a different size. This is a little smaller one. So this is good for nail art. I was doing a, I think it was, I bought people some Christmas stuff and I was doing this as a little joke. This is the pool, be gone like the pre-pool. It's a knockoff brand. I have three. <clears throat> bought some of these and then I couldn't find them and then I bought some more and then I found them so I don't need two packs so these are the wooden clothing pins I'm gonna tell you the quality isn't like it used to be way back in the day but of course nothing really is I hate the texture of these the ones that I want to get are white and reusable and they're hard to find when you go in the Dollar Tree I guess because so many people buy them but um they feel like cloth these are so silky they feel like um like plastic table covering it's just like tablecloth i just i like the way they feel so these are three of these take it back i don't need them and then i bought two of these i was gonna sell them but it didn't work out and i got these and i have two so yes I'm taking them back. Now, what I plan to get, toothpaste, Ziploc bags, different sizes, um, dish detergent. There's some cleaning items that I get. And this one particular cleaning item that I get, I've gotten it for years. And normally when I get it or when I've always gotten it, it says 99.9% .9 you know, kill germs. So it's not something they're just now putting on the bottle because of what's going on. So I still get that. Um, I may buy, I don't need any oven cleaner. Um, I may need some Comet, some carpet fresh, you know, some necessities I really need in the house because that stuff costs money. So being that I'm trying to pay off debt and every little cent I have either is in my pocket and the bigger dollar amounts go to my bill that help out. So that's what I'm doing. I am going to do the, doing another video, but um, not just quite yet. I'll probably do one on the 26th, the reason being on the 15th, I get paid. I did send the gentleman my tax information, and I spoke with him, and he said he got it. So it'll be on the 15th, I'm putting some money on it after I get paid on my, on my bill, debt, whatever. When I get my taxes, I'm putting more money on it. And then on the 26th, that's when my interest kick in, and that's when I get paid. At the end of the month so i'll be doing something listing and showing you what was added what was the interest will be added but what would take it off and what will be my new balance by the end of the month i am doing overtime so i'm trying to push hard i do between 10 to 12 hours a day and my supervisor could care less as long as the work get done i mean i think today i worked for a total of maybe three hours and i'm logging off at 5 30 and i got up 5 30 this morning and started working and had to leave and run some errands um in one video, I showed you guys that I had some old coins that I cashed in. I did have two with a little bit of value, so I thought maybe I would get about $48. Actually, I ended up getting getting about 55 something odd dollars, so I bought some a little bit of groceries. And the good thing is, and let me see if I can get it. So, with the, the change that I cashed in, he did not accept. I went to the bank and cashed it in. So... It was a total of fifty dollars and fifty cents. I had initially down forty eight twenty five, so I had a couple of pieces that was an extra couple of dollars more in value of the coins. So I went and bought some some stuff that I wanted to get for the house, some little bit of food, some snacks and stuff like that. Nothing major, but I know that I'm going to stop buying extra stuff like snacks and stuff. Like I did get like a pizza. I should be eating that, and I got a drink, but I did buy some um. Uh, 
some sausages, some bread, you know, stuff like that. But I'm going to ease away from it. But there was some stuff. The reason why I bought those stuff is because I have something to go with them. So I want to go ahead and get them out and clean my refrigerator and freeze it because I'm going to all meat and vegetables and nothing else extra. I don't even drink anything outside of um, water. Well, that's the plan. I do I have a juice in there now. I have two. But I'm going to where I'm going to eat, right, complete, and that's going to be it. Um, so... I'm getting the debt paid off. I am right now. And currently in my pocket, in my purse, I have $9.13 on, I have a prepaid card that has $21.72 on it. That's just in case I'm looking at a piece of paper. That's just in case the transit doesn't run. I need transportation. I have to get home and I can't make it. I have that card to use because, um, I, I need to get Uber. I need to download the app. But I don't have Uber and I'm going to use that just in case um, transportation issues happen because a lot of the cabs that I've been getting, I know she can use your card. And with those prepaid cards, it's never a fee because it's with my bank and they take the money out of my account and put it onto the card. It's not linked to anything. So they can't get more than, you know, what's on there. And in my savings account, I have $27.94. So every little bit of change I get, five, 10, $15, um, I'm going to actually keep and hold on to just in case, of uh, I got to go wash clothes or, you know, I need to get some eggs. Like right now I need to get mayonnaise. I forgot to get mayonnaise, something like that. Nothing major. So right now, and then Thursday I get paid. I was hoping to work this Saturday for my part-time job, but they didn't put me in the schedule. So Thursday I get paid from working last Saturday, which would be about $20. So I have a total, if I don't spend any money, $78, $79, and I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. My bills, my basic bills are paid. I have food in the house. Um, I got a job. You know, I got some change in my pocket. If anything was to jump off, and right now, everything's good, so I'm happy. So with that being said, you know, I'm going to pay this debt off. Um, I had planned... And I have, I'm looking at my plaque. I have a plaque that says 2023 debt-free gold, $30,000, paying off Navy Federal Credit Union. That's my credit card. That's the biggest one I had, the $5,000 card. So when I was adding everything up, I was supposed to have it paid off by June. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I must have been like hustling hard and throwing everything at it because now it was showing me May. But if I can pump out this overtime and my income tax is worth something, because I, I make a pretty penny, but I don't have to pay. This would be the second year I don't have to pay. And he yells out a good number. I don't care if I get six or $700. I'm hoping for a little more than that. But if that's what I get, that's fine. That'll help. Because if everything goes well with me dumping all the money into it, this thing can be paid off in April. April. <sighs> That would be awesome. That would be awesome. So, yeah. And I'm 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 like the cheerleader waiting for them to send in the, the third stimulus check. You know, I'm not going to wait on it. I'm not going to hold my breath. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. Regardless, I'm still blessed. And this, this is going to get done. Um, So, you know, I'll keep you guys updated on my journey. I will be doing another video. So, yeah. So, right now, I'm having computer issues. Our systems are down at work. So, my computer is doing this little thing. I have to go reboot it, try to get back online because I'm logging off at 5.30. I need to go take a nap. I'm tired. I don't even take lunch breaks. I just, well, I shouldn't take a lunch break. I'm not really doing that. But anyway, I'm going to take a nap or go watch a movie or something. And yeah, so I just wanted to share with you guys what I was taking back, why I was taking it back, what I'm going to get, do, because I need to be free of all things. And I'm just... I want to go in a smaller place and I want less stuff. I'm tired of clutter physically in my space, financially in my pocket, in my mind. I just want freedom. So that's my goal. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will chit chat with you guys another time. Take care and be blessed.